Oh, I remember this in previous years. I don't usually understand the numbers, but it's really confusing. Surpluses, deficits, ups, downs. All I want to know is, is the trust managing its money well? What was it spent on? Where does it come from? NHS Foundation Trusts must keep their accounts up to date and in order, and publish them at the end of each financial year. But the accounts can be complicated, so I'm going to break it down for you. Last year, for 2018 to 2019, we signed up to what's called a control total, which is set and agreed with our regulator, NHS Improvement. Our control total was a trading deficit of £8.3 million, and if we successfully achieved this, we would qualify for what is called Provider Sustainability Funding. We're pleased to report that we exceeded this target with an overall surplus of £60,000. Let's break this down. Our plan was to deliver a trading deficit of £8.3 million. We overachieved against this by £2.8 million, given a deficit of £5.5 million. This qualified us for provider sustainability funding of £6.98 million, giving us an overall surplus of £1.5 million. Hang on, I thought you said a surplus of £60,000. Yes, I did. We also have to make technical accounting adjustments in line with our accountancy standards. Last year, we had what's called an impairment, which reduced our surplus from £1.5 million to £60,000. This is just a technical adjustment in the accounts and doesn't cost us any money, but recognises the value of assets has changed. Last financial year, our total income was £286.3 million, our largest proportion of which came from clinical commissioning groups. So what did we spend it on? Day-to-day -day spending is classed as revenue spending. Our total revenue spending was £286.2 million. We spend most of our money on our greatest asset, our staff. Each year we invest some of our money on what's called capital. This is money spent on longer term assets with a useful life of over one year and a value of more than £5,000. This usually includes things like new buildings, improving existing buildings, new equipment or updating and extending our use of digital IT. Last year we spent £10.6 million on capital some of which we received from Greater Manchester. This has allowed us to invest in Forest House in Oldham, creating a new environment for multiple teams to be based and bringing an old building back to life again. Refurbish Oak and Aspen wards with 44 bedrooms. Staff and service users were really pleased with the results and the updated environment helps us to provide a better standard of care. And as technology around us develops, we need to make sure that the services we provide are also available digitally. So we invested £6 million making services more responsive, safe and easy to access, bringing digital devices and electronic records to hundreds of staff across the whole trust. Every year the NHS must ensure it delivers value for money. We're pleased to report that we achieved our savings target of £6.7 million but we need to make sure that savings are recurrent. This means that they're achieved on an ongoing basis. We have quality impact assessment processes in place. This means our Director of Nursing and Medical Director will sign off on any recurrent savings plans to make sure they don't affect the quality of our services. So thank you to all our staff who have a huge part to play in managing our finances. We know there's more work to do, which we're committed to in 2019-2020 as part of our journey. I think I understand it a little bit more now. Me too. 